is that make this wonderful church great. Praise God. Praise God. You know, after, after I've been listening to the songs, you know, uh, kind of, I kind of look back to, you know, that uh, I feel like, you know, uh, you know, a prophet Amos, you know, saying that I am no prophet, neither am I a prophet, son. You know, God had took me from, you know, from, uh, you know, that, that chip, that, the kid, that, you know, back in, in Thailand, you know, and, and you know, this, we was, I was in uh, rice field, and uh, from that part of Thailand, you know, as in, we, we have a lot of struggle, you know, poverty, you know, that kind of thing, and, and God brought me uh, a long ways, and here I am today, stand behind this pulpit before you. I believe the blood of Jesus still work. I believe the blood still work. Praise God. Praise God. Mighty God. Uh, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and go to uh, opening text. Turn with me to the Old Testament in uh, the book of Leviticus, chapter 17, verse 11. The Bible says, For the life of the flesh is in the blood. I have given it unto you upon the altar to make an atonement for your soul. For it is the blood that makes an atonement for the soul. For the blood. Praise God. And I want to turn to the, uh, the New Testament. To the book of Hebrew. Chapter 9, verse 19. For when Moses has spoken every precept to all people according to the law, he took the bloods of the calf and the goats with water and scarlet wool and hyssop and sprinkled both the book and all the people, saying, This is the blood of the testament which God has enjoined unto you. Moreover, he sprinkled with blood both the tabernacle and all the vessel of the ministry. Here one I want to get into this verse 22. And almost all things up by the law purchased with blood. And without shedding of blood is no remission. Without shedding of blood is no remission. You may be seated. Praise God. The Bible says the life of the flesh is in the blood. The word atonement means covering. There is a power in the blood of the Lamb. But that the power is useless, useless if we neglect to use it. A concept of the blood got to be more than just theology, theology and position. Life is in the blood. Everything we teach, we believe, we preach, and hope for it is tied to the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is more than a vital part of, of salvation. It's a weapon. Weapon must mean to be used for defense and offense. Praise God. The writer of Hebrews say, And almost all things are by the law purged with blood. And without shedding of the blood, there is no remission. If you see, the, uh, as the scripture said, notice that uh, the, the pastor said, no, doesn't say remission of sin, but the sin is definitely is included. But the power of the blood doesn't end with it. Just take away the sin. It's purged almost all things. Without shedding the blood, there is no remission. Amen. The priests in the Old Testament sprinkled almost everything with blood. They had complete confidence in the power of the blood to clean, to deliver, to protect. The blood of Jesus does more than deliver us from sin. It's power to protect and cover that Israel, right in Egypt, lived through the wonderful lesson in the power of the blood of God's protection. In Exodus chapter 8, plague after plague, after plague no matter how, how much chaos sweep through the land of Egypt, nothing could cross the divine line of the God protection. When Israel, right, get ready to leave Egypt in the final plague, the Bible said the Lord speak to Moses and command every Israelite Household to, to in Goshen to, lay, to slay a lamb and to apply the blood on the doorport of their home. Their order was simple stay in the house, stay under the blood, 
Stay under the blood. Stay in the house. See the dead angel get ready to pass through the land of Egypt to strike down the firstborn of every household. The only thing that would save them was the power of the blood. The Bible say in Exodus 12, 13, say, when I see the blood, when I, I will pass over you. See, in, back, back in the New Testament, see, Luke often used the word remission in his God, what we call the apostle doctrine. When he, see, when he say, and the pre- repentance, repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations and beginning with Jerusalem. See, Luke was a physician. And we hear doctor in medical concept of remission mean is someone with disease or in the body experience significant improve in the condition they say to be in remission. This means disease has to stop, arrest, or retreat. I believe the blood of Jesus still works today. I believe the blood still works today. Praise God. Praise God. See the blood protect them, uh, the uh, Israel right from Egypt, deliver them and the, the, and the plague. See, they, they, they came through the Red Sea and the cloud, which is to tie up water baptism and be filled with the Holy Ghost. If we are going to be delivered out of Egypt in body of saints, we have to, to be, come out by the blood, by the water through the Red Sea, under the cloud, you filled with the Holy Ghost. I believe the powers of the blood should still work. So I'm talking about the blood. It reached to the highest mountain. It flowed to the lowest valley. The blood is keeping his strength from day to day. He still never lost his power. The blood still works. The blood still works. Praise God.